Welcome to the world of Knits Cool. This video will teach you how to knit this super trendy skinny scarf using our new post knitting method. Our Knits Cool Studio uses simple vertical posts, so there are no needles to hold. It's easy and fun, and you won't get tangled up in knitting needles ever again. For this project, you will need the Knits Cool Studio with all of its components and 20 yards of yarn. We will be using the purple yarn from the skinny scarf kit. First, select your large Knits Cool posts and insert them into the holes in the studio. Make sure you hear them click in. Also make sure that you have your yarn holder inserted at the back. Casting on. To first cast on, take your yarn and find the tail end. Make a slip knot and place it onto the right post, like this. Then, twist to make a loop and place it onto the right post. Tighten the loop until it is snug. Now make another loop and place that onto the right post as well. Continue to do this until you have four stitches on your right post. Make sure your yarn is looped through the yarn holder. This is super important because it keeps your yarn towards the back and helps you make perfect stitches. Okay, let's start knitting. Remove the first stitch from the right post and pull the yarn through it. This makes a new loop and then you just pop that onto the left post. Tighten it up a little by pulling on the yarn. Now take the next stitch from the right post and pull the yarn through it and place it onto the left post again. So now you keep doing this until all the stitches are knit onto the left post and there are no more stitches on the right post. Keep in mind that this row is the most finicky as your first stitches are just twisted loops and not fully formed yet. After this, your stitches will be a breeze to knit. You have now knit one row. Go check your row counter and make sure that the button is set to one. So now, knit all of these stitches back onto the right post. Now keep in mind, at this point you're probably thinking, my stitches look wrong and don't look anything like knitted fabric. But actually, that's the way they're supposed to look. A little messy looking. So don't worry, just keep going. Once your knitting starts to grow, you'll see your work looking more and more like a knitted design. You have now knit two rows you can click to number two. All right, let's continue knitting back and forth until you have reached 50 rows. You can custom design your skinny scarf by knitting all 50 rows or knitting less rows. It's all up to you. Just make sure that you have some yarn left over to cast off, about an arm's length worth. Also, if you plan on adding any tassels, you'll wanna leave even more yarn by stopping sooner. Okay, now that you've knitted your scarf to your desired length, your project should look like this. Now let's cast off. This is the fun part. The first step is to knit two stitches onto the opposite post. By now, I'm sure you can do this with your eyes closed. Then simply grab the bottom stitch and slip it over the top stitch and let it go. Next, knit another stitch onto the post so you now have two stitches on this post again. Grab the bottom stitch and slip it over the top stitch. Keep doing this until you only have one remaining stitch on the post. Now take this one stitch with your project off the post completely and thread the tail through the loop and tighten. Finishing your skinny scarf. Now, if you'd like to customize your scarf even more, you can add tassels. To make tassels, cut lengths of yarn to your liking. Remember, each strand will be folded in half and that will be the length of the tassel. I'm gonna make four tassels, two for each end of my scarf. So now, take your first strand and fold it in half. Then take your crochet hook that comes with the studio and insert it into a loop at the bottom corner of your scarf. Hook the yarn and pull it through the loop, but not all the way. Then take the tail ends of the tassel and pull them through the loop you just made. Wasn't that easier than you thought? Since the scarf is very loosely knit, you don't have to use the hook to add your tassels. You can just use your fingers if you like. Now continue adding the rest of the tassels to your scarf. Congratulations! You just made your first Knits Cool Skinny Scarf. You can wear this scarf in many ways. It'll be your most versatile and favorite accessory. 